Happy Friday. I hope you got great plans for the weekend. And we're continuing to look at 1 Samuel chapter 3. Such a great story, such a great passage <laughs> um, about young Samuel and how he comes to hear the voice of the Lord. So we're continuing today after Eli just gives Samuel this little piece of advice and he takes it. Look at what it says. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered, speak, for your servant is listening. So just a, a small point to make here, but Samuel does what Eli says to do, right? Again, as simple as it was, as small a piece of advice as it was, as small an insight as it was, or maybe it was a big insight with just a simple application, Samuel does it. And that's what we have to learn to do. Like when we get wise counsel and advice and insights from mentors or coaches and people in the faith or even any other area of life, we gotta do what they say, right? And because usually until we do what they say or take that counsel and see if it works, we won't see God move. But when we take that counsel, We'll see God at work in our lives. And the same thing, we, obviously it's very invigorating for us if, if you're trying to coach somebody else, mentor somebody else. We want to find the people that are actually going to put into practice what we're suggesting or give it a try, right? So let's pray for that grace. Heavenly Father, we ask for the grace uh, to do what we, to put into practice what is the wise counsel we receive. And God, we pray for the grace uh, to give wise counsel and that Give us people who will take it and so that your grace can move into our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for participating in our daily practice. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. You can be part of our mission to love God, love others, and make disciples by sharing this video. We're grateful you're part of this community.